This is Minecraft, but everything I touch turns realistic. Today, my goal is to turn the entire Minecraft world into real life by filling up the realism bar to 100%. Along the way, I'll unlock new realistic Minecraft items that I'll have to use in order to conquer the realistically mutated warden in the end. Like this video and help towards the 10,000 like goal, or you could end up like this. I don't see 10,000 likes yet. What are you waiting for? Click it. Here it is, guys, in my hand. It is the realistic enchanted wooden stick, and this will give us the ultimate power of realism. See this dirt block? Well, oh, now it's real. Look at that. And if I break it, yeah, I get a realistic dirt piece. Look at that, just realistic dirt. And if I place this, look at that, dude. That's insane. So anything we touch, including mobs, like look at this chicken over here. Hey, chicken, look at me, buddy. Oh my gosh, look at it now. <laughs> dude, it looks so weird. What if I touch a sheep? Oh, what the? Look at its face. It looks so creepy. Yeah, look at this. I can just go ahead and turn any block ever. Look at the realistic mossy cobble. Look at the realistic wood. So my goal, of course, is to get the entire world realistic. And to begin that, well, let me go ahead and break this wood and create ourselves a realistic crafting table because this is what we're going to have to use to craft a lot of the items today. Oh, let's put it down. World turned realistic 0%. Look at that progress. Progress bar, so we need to fill that all the way to the top. Now let's see what we have here with the realistic. Oh my goodness, it really is just completely real. This is sick. So what can we craft in this thing anyways? Oh my gosh. Realistic diamond armor? What is that, emerald stuff? Holy emerald boots? There's so much we can craft in here. Now in order to get cowboy boots, I just need four realistic pieces of leather. That's pretty easy. I just need to kill a few real cows. So where are you, cow? Come here. But before we get to that, I want to give a huge thanks to Sandbox for sponsoring today's video. And be sure to stay tuned to see what happens next. I'm also giving away $10 in mine coins to two random people. So stay tuned to find out more. In the Sandbox, you can create an avatar and interact with a ton of your favorite brands through unique experiences including Snoop Dogg, Steve Aoki, The Walking Dead, FaZe Clan, and even Tony Hawk. There's over 90 experiences to play right now and many more on the way. Between Steve Aoki's Playhouse, because it includes live concerts, parkour, and even his mom, or The Walking Dead, because you'll work with Carl to rebuild Alexandria, interact with Negan, and even fight zombies with Michonne and look for food. There's also a ton of UGC content with some high quality games where you can build your own escape room, dungeon crawler, puzzle game, or even a whole new world. There's so many things you can do and it's available right now on PC, Mac, and all mobile devices. If you're interested, which I surely am, click my link in the description down below to download the game right now for free. So how can you win $10 of mine coins? As a fun challenge, go ahead and download the game using my link down in the description below and create an account using Google or Facebook. Then get to level two in the game. I recommend completing Steve Aoki's Playhouse. Then when you're in the alpha lobby, find Snoop Dogg, take a screenshot with him and tag me, Snoop, and the Sandbox game on Twitter. I'll pick two lucky winners in a month to win $10 in mine coins. And once again, thanks to Sandbox for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the action. Come here, you stupid cows. Turn real. Oh my gosh, they're so scary. Is it kind of weird that I almost like them better when they're not realistic? Hey, get back here. And four. We will use our real crafting table, make the cowboy boots, and the progress bar is now at 1%, guys. We're getting there. And now I'm a cowboy. All right, now we won't use the stick here for our hay bale mine session because I'm content with just regular old bread. What's even in the chest inside? Oh my goodness, diamonds and iron stuff right away. Now we will be creating realistic stuff, so don't worry about that, but this is actually a good start. Oh my goodness, I just shifted and a, and a realistic horse just spawned out of nowhere. I guess that's also what my cowboy boots do. Can I just ride this right away? Oh my, I can. Oh my goodness, it goes so fast. Aha, look at that thing. We're gonna use this to mine. It turns a lot of of land at once into realism everywhere I click. So it makes it even better. Dude, I'm already up to 18%. Oh my goodness, I just stepped on gravel and that turned realistic. Wait, what is a realistic? A realistic creeper. But with these realistic iron ingots, I am excited to see what a realistic iron pickaxe is going to do. So we'll make that right now and look at that thing. We're gonna replace that stone one real quick. Oh, and this one mines even faster. Okay, it's gonna be very easy to cave now and find realistic diamonds, which I really wanna do. Oh my goodness. Goodness, what in the world? Oh, I see they attack other mobs and they turn them realistic. Dude, look at that realistic zombie. Dude, my miner just almost died. No, 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 no. Oh gosh, no, no, no. Wait, did he just drop something? This is a miner's realistic helmet. This is what my miner dropped. Whoa, what the? 
This helmet allows me to see every single ore behind any kind of cave. So I guess that's gold and underneath us are diamonds. Ah, that looks so shiny and cool. I'm mining all of these now. Now I have four realistic diamonds in my inventory. I'm gonna get as many of these as I can actually. We're at 26% world turned realistic. This is the iron ax. What does this do if I go, whoa, what in the world is this? Is that realistic tree bark? Oh my goodness. Okay, it chops down the entire tree and it looks like it drops realistic apples. And this is actually a good way to farm wood as well. Can we craft the wood enhanced apple? Yes, it's just a realistic apple and the tree bark together. So let me go ahead and eat it really quick. Oh my goodness, what happened to me? I'm like a piece of wood, what? Oh my gosh, I just noticed as well that my hunger bars are literally apples. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Are those emerald blocks at the top of this village tower? What in the world they are? These are realistic emerald blocks. Oh, no, 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 I have to stop shifting. <laughs> These things just spawn everywhere. What does it drop? It drops something called a villager's holy emerald. Ooh, okay, maybe we can do some like cool trades with these guys. They keep falling everywhere. Oh, but there are tons in the chest here as well. Okay, so tons of villager's holy emeralds. Uh, what the? Who kind of villager are you? Um, hello? Can I trade with this guy? What are you doing with my horse? Why do you look so creepy? What the? Where am I? You have mined our holy relic. You will be destroyed. What in the world did he turn into? A mutated emerald defender? Um, die. I don't want you around me. He just fell into the fountain. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> that was the easiest fight I've ever done. Oh my goodness. He dropped stacks and stacks of realistic holy emeralds. Ah, what the? What happened? Where am I? Oh, oh my goodness. Am I in the middle of like a huge city? Oh my goodness. Uh, that's an angry looking guy. Hello, are you coming after me? Uh, who are you? Wait, he trades things. What is this guy, the tech villager? He's got a TV. I want a TV, so we'll grab a TV. Wait, we need to use the remote. Let me turn this thing on. <gasps> it's my YouTube channel. Wait. You guys should all definitely subscribe right now. I mean, or else you could end up like this. Oh, what does the laptop do if I place this down? It looks like Minecraft's open. Can I right click it and welcome to your laptop. Play Minecraft. Uh, what? It just took me to a whole nother world. Wait, I'm in creative mode. Hold on a second. Can I grab an item from the creative menu? If I wanted to grab anything, it would probably be a totem of undying. Exit world. Wait, what the? What is that? No, 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 Oh my goodness. There's like a scientist over here. What does he have? What? A laser turret item and a laser gun? Okay, I'll take these. These will probably be very powerful in case we encounter any other realistic bosses. And uh, hey buddy, if I use this laser gun. Oh gosh, it just drops more emeralds all over the place. So basically I'm gonna be able to afford everything these villagers are giving me, which is perfect. And then what happens if I place the other one? Oh. It's like a pet turret. This guy's just chilling, doing his own thing. He's the furniture villager. He has a piano and a cinder block. Okay, I mean, I'll take them, why not? What can I do with a freaking piano? I mean, I guess it is a piano. Can I play it? I'm like Beethoven, dude. I'm the best piano player ever. But who is this guy that just walked out? He trades a banana. Okay, I've never had a banana in Minecraft before. And a super real shiny golden apple. Okay, take my horse. Oh gosh, I spawned my horse and my laser pet is going freaking crazy, dude. So what happens if I eat the banana then? What the? Yo, did I just get my very own realistic minions? Um, hi guys, are you here to help me in case any anything goes wrong? Yes, Grazer, we love you, but we also want 10,000 likes on this video. Yo, what the, they're just killing all the animals that are around this area, so they'll kill anything for me. Okay, that's dope, and what happens if I eat this golden apple looking thing? <gasps> what? Dude, look at my skin. Dude, look at me, look at my hair, look at my shirt. All right, let's see here. Can you actually use these emeralds to craft anything like an armor? <gasps> yes, you can. Holy emerald chest plate, and I'm assuming you can also make the leggings, the helmet, and the boots. Now I have effects including flight. And why do I have a freaking villager nose? I look so silly, look at that. Wait, another one of those meteors is coming down. What in the world? What are you guys? You're not gonna hurt me, right? We're chilling, we're gonna- Oh gosh, they hurt me! Wait, what is that effect I have on my hearts? Ah! 
What the heck is that thing? You abused your powers. We do not want anyone to come into our world. Stop him before he reaches 50%. Minions attack him. Oh my gosh, it's actually working. He's doing a freaking grand slam. Dude, this guy's freaking strong, man. No, he's already too strong. Okay, I think I got him. He's gone. And is this what he dropped? What on earth is this thing? A realistic skulk teleporter. What if I right click this? What is going on here? Overworld unlocked, village city unlocked, skulk island portal unlocked at 99% and the nether fortress is unlocked at 75. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the overworld for now. And I'm actually gonna use my miner's helmet to find all the diamonds so that I can create some realistic diamond armor. And I'm thinking that'll help increase the progress bar even more. A realistic diamond battle axe and a realistic diamond pick. And now, after I go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff, we are fully kitted out for real this time. Holy smokes. Look how much of the, the ground is making realistic. Dude, it's making our progress bar go up so much the more we walk. 59%, 60%. What does this pick do? Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. This just goes all the way down and mines anything. Okay, I gotta make sure it doesn't kill me, but it also drops everything in realistic fashion as well. Here you Stupid realistic creeper. You think you got anything on me? Whoa, what? Realistic diamond gunpowder? Dude, that is sick. So my sword, any mob I kill with this just makes them produce diamond versions of their drops. Very cool. What in the world is this place? I guess when I hit overworld on my teleport button thing, it brought me near this place. It looks like a realistic over glorified tree house or something. And it's got a lot of these skulkified villagers just roaming the place. What does it have hiding in here? There's a barrel and inside the barrel, realistic skulk shard can be used in a realistic smithing table. Okay, if I put this down, this is usually used for, oh my goodness, look at this thing. If I go ahead and take my realistic diamond chest plate and I put it in here with one of these shards, <gasps> What? It like completely just skulkifies it. So I guess this is what we're gonna need for that mutated warden in the end. Is this even more powerful armor? Hold on, I'm gonna convert all of it. Hey, I look like a boss man. Wait, can I also convert like my weapons and stuff? I can, a realistic skulkified sword, pickaxe. I guess, dude, this is the new nether right here. We're at 70%, which means we've almost unlocked another thing in our teleporter. We can go to a village city though. Oh my goodness, what happened to this skeleton? Is this my new skulkified armor? It's turning every mob I even get close to even scarier than they were before. Okay, no, 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 I don't want anything to do with you guys. So yeah, I also use the smithing table to skulkify my totem of undying, which looks really weird now, but I'm gonna save this for the end battle. It might come in handy. And uh, well, this pick is also really freaking fast. It mines like quicker than I can even do it in creative mode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the nether fortress now. This isn't the normal nether, this is like an abandoned an island with a random castle on it. This is kind of creepy, but in any event, I'm turning it realistic and watch this. If I click a button, I can actually see through the ground at any ores that are underneath. So this armor can come in handy. It also leaves like this skulk trail behind me wherever I go. But yeah, let's see what's inside of this really weird and creepy nether castle. Ah, what the heck? Realistic casts everywhere. Oh my goodness. There are realistic blaze all over the place inside the castle. I need to take them out, I guess, to get the blaze rods to get into to the realistic end. Die, you stupid blade. Oh my gosh, it's just that it fires out a freaking missile, my sword does. And look at this, this is what they dropped. Is it, oh, okay, realistic blaze powder. Oh my goodness, upstairs. Dude, there's a bunch of realistic endermen everywhere. Uh, how am I gonna kill these guys? I'm gonna have to just kill them with my battle axe. Oh gosh, realistic ender pearl. Okay, I have a little more than I would actually need. Can I do anything special with these? Whoa, okay, you are not one of my friends. You've come to the wrong place. Minions, let him perish. The Skulky Blaze King? Why did I find you on the island here? Get out of here. I'm gonna Ender Pearl in there and get him with the sword. I think I got him. What on earth is this? A Blaze King crown? Can this actually be done if I put a helmet here along with the crown in this slot? Oh my God. Realistic Skulkified helmet with Blaze King crown. Now I'm the ultimate king, bro. Look at me. And also our realism bar is up to 89%. Wait, hold on. Does that mean <gasps> the Skulk? Oak Island portal is unlocked. But with our crown, can we do anything? Oh my gosh, that is not a realistic grazer blaze. I think I'm ready though. In three, two, one. Whoa, okay. 
It just brought me right to the stronghold. Dude, this is so sick. Okay, well, this is where my realistic ender pearls go. Hey, get out of here. Let me fill all these guys up with my realistic eye of enders and in we go. Oh my goodness, this is how the realistic end looks. He's coming for me and he looks extremely evil. Even his own endermen are trying to go after him. Actually, I'll just let him fight with them for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up my turret buddy who will then just, you know, go ahead and destroy the place. Let me summon a bunch of my men. Minions, go at them, guys. Just minions upon minions everywhere. Okay, I'm actually getting him pretty good from a distance here. I should be good. Oh, gosh. <gasps> what the heck? What just happened? I got him, but my... My Skulkified totem, it came in handy. Oh my gosh, what? I turned into the realistic mutated warden. <laughs> I have successfully turned the entire world into realism. Once again, don't forget to download Sandbox using my link in the description down below. And thank you to Sandbox for sponsoring today's video.